suddenly in the night I woke up with the full awareness of what we could call the yoga of the world. The supreme love was manifesting through big pulsations. And each pulsation was bringing the world further in its manifestation. It was the formidable pulsations of the eternal, stupendous love. Only love. Each pulsation of the love was carrying the universe further in its manifestation. And the certitude that what is to be done is done. And the supramental manifestation is realized. Mother of all Godheads and all strength, who mediatrix binds earth to the Supreme. State upon state is born, covering upon covering opens to consciousness of knowledge in the lap of its mother the soul sees above the stretch and blaze of cosmic sight Above the silence of the wordless thought, formless creator of immortal forms, nameless, investitured with the name divine, transcending times, ours, transcending timelessness. The Mighty Mother sits in lucent calm and holds the Eternal Child upon her knees, attending the day when he shall speak to fate.
the seven waters are the waters of being. They are the mothers from whom all forms of existence are born. She is the ancient and eternal. The dawn of the light that was from the beginning. But in her coming, she is ever young and fresh to the soul that receives her. She, who would become known as the mother, was born on 21st February 1878 as Blanche Rachel Mira Alfasa. Her conscious inner life began when she was five years old. I started at the age of five. years old. At the age of seven, it became very serious. She went and sat in a small armchair specially made for her. She sat down and always felt that consciousness above the head. When I was five, even three years old, I was conscious. The beginning was made in the womb. At the age of 30, for nearly a year, she used to go out of the body every night. As soon as I have gone to bed, it seems that I went out of my body and rose straight up above the house. Then, above the city, very high above. On those occasions, I used to see myself clad in a magnificent golden robe much longer than myself. And as I rose higher, the robe would grow longer and spread out in a circle around me to form something like an immense roof over the city. Then I would see Men, women, children, old men, sick and unfortunate people coming out from everywhere. They would gather under the outspread robe, begging for help, telling of their miseries, their suffering, their hardships. In reply, 
the road supple and life would extend towards each of them individually and as soon as they have touched it they were comforted and healed and went back into their bodies happier and stronger than they had come out of them Nothing seemed more beautiful to me. Nothing could make me happy. And all the activities of the day seemed dull and colorless and without any real life compared to this lively activity which was the true life. The world is preparing for a big change. wide vision and brings out into expression for them all the world for she is the godhead of thought the young and ancient goddess of many thoughts 
who moves according to the divine law. She is the goddess of the perceptive knowledge who has the perfect truth. She is the supreme light of all lights and is born with a varied and conscient vision. She is the light full of knowledge that rises up out of the darkness. Arise! Life and force have come to us. The darkness has departed. The light arises. She has made empty the path for the journey of the sun. Thither let us go, where the gods shall carry forward our being beyond these limits. I have become the purifying fire of thy love. O Lord, silent, unthinkable one, accept the holocaust of this brazier of love, that thy reign may come, thy light triumph over darkness and death. Manifest thy power from day to day from hour to hour we implore thee O Lord manifest thy power
a being of wisdom, power, and delight, even as a mother draws her child to her arms, took to her breast, nature and world and soul. In this high signal moment of the gods, answering earth's yearning and her cry for bliss, a greatness from our other countries came. A mediating ray had touched the earth, bridging the gulf between man's mind and God. Its brightness linked our transience to the unknown. A spirit of its celestial source aware, translating heaven into a human shape, descended into Earth's imperfect mold, and wept not fallen to mortality. <coughs> but looked on all with large and tranquil eyes. Conscious and eternal power is here. Behind unhappiness and mortal birth and the error of thought and the blundering trudge of time. The mother of God, his sister and his spouse, Daughter of his wisdom, of his might, the mate. She has leapt from the transcendent secret breast to build her rainbow worlds of mind and light. Between the superconscious absolute light and the inconscious vast unthinking toil, in the rolling and routine of matter's sleep, in the somnambulist motion of the stars, she forces on the cold, unwilling void her adventure of life, the passionate dreams of her lust. Amid the work of darker powers, she is here to heal the evils and mistakes of space and change the tragedy of the ignorant world into a divine comedy of joy and the laughter and the rapture of God's bliss. The mother of God is master of our souls. We are the partners of his birth in time. Inheritors, we share his eternity.
thy peace. O Lord, a boon within to keep amid the roar and ruin of wild times for the magnificent soul of man on earth. Thy calm, O Lord, that bears thy hands of joy. Thy oneness, Lord, in many approaching hearts. My sweet infinity of thy numberless souls. Thy energy, Lord, to seize on woman and man, to take all things and creatures in their grief and gather them into a mother's arms. Thy embrace, which rends the living knot of pain, Thy joy, O Lord, in which all creatures breathe. Thy magic, flowing waters of deep love. Thy sweetness, give to me for earth and men.
when and how did I become conscious of a mission which I was to fulfill on earth? It is difficult to say when it came to me. It is as though I was born with it. I'm following the growth of the mind and brain, the precision and completeness of this consciousness grew also. I am the Shakti of Sri Aurobindo alone and the mother of all my children. My children are equally part of my consciousness and of my being. When transformed and realized, all will have an equal right to manifest, each one an aspect of myself and Sri Aurobindo.
Yeah. 